Hey guys, it's Todd here. Uh, welcome back to my building world, I guess. I bet uh, if I ever do any buildings in the future, it'll most likely be on this world. So yeah, yesterday, if you haven't seen, I built like a bunker. As you can see here. You know, go check that video out if you haven't. So yeah, I add some redstone like lighting. Then like a bathroom over there and stuff. Not like a crap ton of redstone. I wanted to mainly focus on building, but the redstone added to it. Yeah, so let's get out. Let's get rid of that. I, I'm not gonna need that TNT. I was just screwing around before this video. Anyway, so what I want to do is since I noticed, hey, next to my bunker, there's literally a cave right here. So I was thinking, all right, I'm not gonna use the whole cave, but wouldn't it be cool if I made like a cool Nether-looking portal entrance? To, if I could turn this cave into a cool-looking Nether portal entrance. I don't know. How is that going to do that? Probably use some netherite. Probably most likely the new blocks. I don't see why I wouldn't. But yeah, like... So I'm not going to make it giant, but I'm thinking I want it to go down. I'll probably to, like, remove most of this. Probably down to here-ish. And here. Let's get some... Let's get some torches. Let's got to get this really feeling like the nether. Oh yeah, wait. I can, I can totally just do this. That's right. I can just hold it in my offhand. This Optifine's actually helpful. <laughs> See, look at that. So yeah, we're gonna turn like this whole place right here. Get like move, remove some blocks. Turn to like a cool place to enter your Nether portal. The only redstone I'm thinking of adding is just making the Nether portal toggleable on and off. But that's really the only redstone I wanted to mainly focus on building and just terraforming, but everything else, all that good stuff. So. Yeah, so, I could probably use some of the new stairs, like, because there's new woods here. So I could probably use, well, that's the exact same stair. These two stairs, I think, would be a good. Or I could also use some of the red nether brick stairs, or any of the blackstone, because, see, yeah, there's a lot of different stairs I can use for this one. Huh. I guess I'll just have to play around. I don't think I want to use the wood, though, but I can probably screw around here. Let, let's check out how all of this... All these look. Let's check all these different stairs. So these are the polished blackstone, blackstone stairs. Wait, hang on. Polished blackstone brick stairs, blackstone stairs, polished blackstone stairs. Oh, okay, then these are the red nether brick stairs. Wow, these nether brick stairs really stand out. I'm really liking these. It's kind of, I'm. It's kind of hard deciding what I want to use. I can legit just leave this out here as like a little bench to just sit here, but also. I don't think I'm going to use the... These are just the black... No. Polished blackstone stairs. I don't like the look of the polished blackstone stairs, so we're going to get rid of that. I don't know... Wait, hang on. Normal blackstone. Yeah. I think if I'm going to use any blackstone stairs, it's going to be this one. The polished blackstone brick stairs. So these look the best. I really like the nether brick stairs, but... Maybe these would work like here. Let's... Make like a little example staircase going down like this. Here, I gotta figure out how big do I want to make the entrance like this. So I'll probably have to like remove some of this stuff on top. Yeah, if I just do something like this. It's gonna be, I kind of want to make it like the same size for the staircase as I'm going up and down like just like this. I think this this looks really cool like this. Maybe I should make it like one block more like this. Here, so this is one, two, three, and then this one has just one, two. Yeah, let's make this one more. And then I'll figure out, maybe I'll just cut to when I finish the staircase, get some more stuff out of here, move everything. So I think I'm done with like, I'm not gonna do much around like the surrounding layers here. Right here, maybe I could have just made this one uh, block bigger, I guess, to fill the torches here. I could have just done this, maybe. I tried to put, like, what, three blocks in between all of these? Like that. There we go. Yeah. I mean... I kind of, like, this now, it feels like it's in the way, but that's kind of like the wall. Here, yeah, wait, no, never mind, wait, I'll... <laughs> I have to... F I have to do something about this here. Because something about this just doesn't look right about my staircase. So yeah, this wall. 
But like, I don't want to add like one more staircase going to the right, so that will kind of ruin it. I feel like. Yeah, I got one, two, and one, two. Yeah, so every, it's like symmetrical with the stairs like this. It gets smaller, then we go down to here, and I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do down here with the portal. Well, yeah, we got this little couch here. <laughs> couch. Sure. Got like a little surrounding layer with the nether warts and the warped warts block. Yeah. So I just gotta figure... Should I move this couch... Like, anywhere else? Here, should I just move this couch in, like, the corner here and do it, like, something like this? Yeah, that looks much better. Yeah, see, ah, oh, that looks better. Here we go, there we go. Kinda want stuff to go behind the couch like that. Yeah. Here, what, are, what, would, what would it look like with a mini couch over here? I mean, it's interesting. I mean, it gives different stuff to look at. So yeah, I just gotta figure out what to do with this wall. Like maybe just, just do, maybe the solution is just do this. Maybe this is the solution. I was like way overthinking that when I could have just done that. Oh, wait. Oh no, Some, something's not right here now. Great. Now I gotta figure out. I gotta put this like every two. There, that's better. All right, down into here. Let's figure out the flooring and surrounding area, and then like the Nether portal kind of frame. I want to make a different ne Nether portal kind of frame. I kind of like a circle, maybe. Yeah. I'll see how it turns out. All right. So the interior is basically done. I think this is good for the interior. I mean, maybe some lighting I can add. I guess that's all I can work on for the interior, but for now, just an update check for you guys to see. We now, if we walk up from the, from, down from the stairs in here, see, I didn't do anything from the out exterior, I'm just focusing on the interior. I did like a very random pattern on the floor, I got like five different blocks and just randomly placed them. Random places, totally random. I got some polished blackstone bricks in the wall right here. I got some chisel blackstone bricks here, and then this is my portal. I didn't, I wasn't making it symmetrical, I wanted it to be random again, so it even goes all the way up there. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, you're wondering, like, how in the world did I make a portal this shape? Well, I watched a green video, like, uh, probably a couple weeks ago, he explained how to make, like, custom shapes with nether portals. So it's like, you place the shape, or your, the outline of your nether portal, outside of your actual nether portal here. See, this is just a perfect rectangle, here, which I should probably <laughs> fill these in as well. That would probably be a good idea. Yeah. So then, see, you can't light this one. That's impossible. I mean, I also even put crying up sitting here, which makes it even more impossible. You would light the one below, below it, or before it, or after it. I don't know. Behind it. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. And then it makes it look like this portal is lit. Because until you get up really close like this, you can't tell. Like, I'm just like 10 blocks away, and it looks amazing. So it's a really cool effect that Green found out. So, yeah, I... I mean, this was accident. I accidentally... I was looking for the polished blackstone bricks, but I then I just put polished blackstone on an accident. Then I realized, well, actually, yeah, that looks really cool for behind the portal. So we got more variety in here. So it's almost done. All I want to do, maybe, is let's see, lighting, of course, and then maybe make it toggleable, possibly. Still not sure if I want to do it. I mean, it's not really important, but it would be. <laughs> this is my first time actually going to the end in this world. I'm not the, did I just say the end? I meant the nether. It's my first time going to the nether in this world. Yeah, I just realized, yeah, I can actually do some custom builds in the nether now as well. Yeah, and and then the end. I don't know what I would do. I really, I just really like the idea of making, like, the nether in the overworld. That's, like, a really cool idea. Then maybe I could, like, make the end in the nether or the nether in the end. That's some cool stuff I haven't thought of yet great ideas. Anyway, yeah, I added some more lanterns and some torches to give it more lighting. I think it's a really great idea here. I wonder what would happen if I got like... Here, let's see, what do we... <laughs> yeah, sorry, there's campfires. No, I don't want any of that. I want... Wait, 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 I just had... Wait, what would happen if I just completely... Got this completely random. Let's 
probably looks stupid. I don't know what effect that gives out when you look at that. You give this effect. It looks really weird. But anyway, my original one was, let's see, Sea Lantern. Because so it kind of goes with, like, the blue coloring. Yeah, I feel like this looks good. It does go with the blue coloring. It's not really a nether block, but hey, you know, it works well with it. Yeah, so now I'm still deciding. I could either end the video here, or I could add a toggle and blow nether portal. We'll see. Alright, so now I've got a toggleable nether portal. Perfect! Everything is finished. If you're wondering where I had the dispensers, it's over here because you can't really see them. You're walking up, like until you're like right here basically. Like you can see that one a little bit, but you're not gonna like notice it until you're here basically. So that that's a good place to hide them. So we got toggleable nether portal. Again, didn't want to include a lot of redstone. That's my only redstone contraption in this whole build. Because I mainly want to focus on the building part of this. So, I mean... Okay, I have a decision to make. Either I could... Here. This would probably be a good thing to do. Yeah, there we go. I could either, one, build this out three more blocks. Or just leave it like this. Let's see what happens. I build it out three more blocks. Looks weird. Uh, I don't. Oh no! Get get that out of here. I don't like that. Oh, get that out of here. That looks so much better. Oh god. Yeah. So we got these like little couches. You can just chillax on out here. But then you can go down the staircase into the Nether portal. We got lighting, and everything cool. We got the actual Nether portal. Looks really amazing. All the bricks, cool floor. Turn it on. Turn it off. Yeah, just walk right on into the nether. There's nothing really in the nether, but... Yeah, I mean, when I say nothing, I mean... It looks just like every other nether now with all the cool biomes. It's pretty cool. Yeah, just go right on back. This is also my only nether portal in this world. So yeah. This is really fun building this nether portal, so... Yeah. I don't know what I want to build in the future, but... I'll probably just hop on this world, look around for 10 seconds, find like a waterfall and be like, hey, let's transform this waterfall or something. I don't know. It's kind of what I did with this. I just saw a cave and I was like, nether portal plus cave equals cool build. That's what I did. I feel like building with nether blocks is easier than like normal blocks because they just look so much cooler than most of the normal blocks. Which is why anyone can really build, which is why my builds actually look cool now. Because of all the cool blocks that I've been given now. So yeah. If you're liking this. New video types of me just building kind of. Adding some redstone in the mix every once in a while. And yeah give it a like and tell me. If you want me to build something next. Don't make it like something giant like a, a 300 by 300 block house. Because that would be like too big. Plus you can't even go 300 blocks high. So that might, wasn't maybe the greatest example. But yeah. Thank you all for watching, give this vid a liking, go subscribe for much more, comments I don't ignore, and post notifications.